welcome back and hello if you're new. So, returning literally at the death of 2017, Glassjaw kind of wowed everyone with their brand new album Material Control. And especially because there was like pretty much no promotion behind it, it just dropped out of nowhere. And this is a band who hadn't released an album for 15 years. For the first time in absolutely ages, Glassjaw had brand new material to debut. I've never seen Glassjaw before because similarly to A Perfect Circle and bands like that, they were somewhat before my time. So this is what went down when I saw Glassjaw at Brixton. You couldn't ask for a better pairing of support than Palm Reader. absolutely sensational to see these guys, you know, go from playing The Underworld about, I think, two months ago to now playing Brixton Academy. Palm Reader kicked off their set, which was quite braille heavy. Uh, there was, you know, tracks like Like a Wave, Coalesce, Swarm, but it all sounded massive. It was a little bit hindered, I think, because of Brixton's size, um, but the sound can always be a bit hit and miss when it comes to Brixton. So. Not too much on the band for that one, but man, they gave it their all. It was so great to see the band up there on stage and really drinking it in, you know? And see all these people, because given the fact that they were the only support, I think there was quite a lot of people there. And, you know, the fact that Palm Reader obviously were kind of nurtured by the overall glacial sound is huge. And I think this year is gonna be Palm Reader's year. And not to mention that Braille is an absolutely fantastic album. I cannot stop banging on about it. I'm sure you guys have already checked it out already, but if you haven't, please go and check it out. It was interesting. Um, I think very much that this this tour and you know this show was kind of a nostalgia trip for quite a lot of people. I remember I nipped into the Weatherspoons and had a quick pint beforehand and you could see blokes who were like 35, you know, sort of like mid 30, who maybe were massive fans of Glassjaw with everything you wanted to know about Silence. And now with Material Control coming out, they were all kind of coming out of the woodwork. Blokes kind of calling up their friends and being like, should we go see Glassjaw just for nostalgia's sake? The show itself worked with material from Worship and Tribute primarily and Material Control. And the band played a surprising amount of uh, Material Control, I think. They opened with Cut and Run, which is a fantastic cut, and then later on there was Shearer, New White Extremity, all of this sort of stuff. But it was really weird to see a band that are so big as Glassjaw have pretty much no backdrop. They literally had no backdrop at all. They had sort of these two thin um, star, you know, those orange stars on their cabs, and that was it. And it was just, it was, I think it's a testament to their sort of minimalist idea, really. Overall, the atmosphere was that kind of nostalgia, friends meeting each other for ages, and just having a really good time, to be honest. Uh, and I think that Glassjaw really, really knocked out of the park. It's really interesting as well that the two live band members now that used to be in Glass Cloud are both Chad Hasty and Travis Sykes. Um, and they did an absolutely stellar job, particularly with the bass. I think, you know, the way that the bass and the drums work together, it's just a perfect harmony. That chunky tone that was on Material Control really kind of like reflected really well on that. It was a, it was a fantastic set and even though Brixton wasn't quite sold out, it was at that nice amount of people, you know, where you could move around and you're not kind of clambering all over each other. And particularly the fact that I'd never seen the band live, their sound was so tight and so on point that, you know, I'd, I feel like I really missed out. And of course they finished with the everything you wanted to know about silence, classic Siberian Kiss. It was a, a really well put together, well thought out mix of both uh, old material and new material alike. Uh, it's worth mentioning that they played some of the more kind of weird cuts 
from uh, material control, which I thought was quite a ballsy move. Were you there? If you were, drop a comment, let me know. I'd love to see what you thought of it as well. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I've got tons of interviews and album reviews, all sorts of stuff. There's also a apocalyptic anniversary series over on Metal Sucks where I go back and look at a landmark album every week. I'll see you guys next time for another live review and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, take care. Alright, peace.